If you're brand new to Instagram and you don't have any accounts, you'll see this page. So I'll walk you through this page instead. Press create new account, brings you to the same page here. Then it's gonna ask you to type in your email or a phone number. It does need one of those two things associated with your business account. Then it's gonna send you a confirmation code to that email or your phone number, whichever you typed in next. Then it's gonna ask you to add your name. Now, we're going to add our business name in a second. So you could just put your business name here, but it always starts as a personal account and then converts to a business account. So don't worry about what this is asking. You could just type your business name here. Now it says, even if this is a business account, you still have to type in a birthday because you have to be at least 13 to use Instagram as an app. So just putting your birthday here, this is gonna be private. And then this page is important, creating a username. This name has to be unique. So if someone else has your name, so in this case, creator room is taken by someone else, it's gonna say not available. So you have to choose something else that is available. A lot of people choose their business name here and type in the word official, for example, if it's taken by someone else. And then I get that green check mark, I could press next. You can change this at a later time though. Then you should land on this page here, which is basically your profile page on Instagram. Now, if you don't land on here, or if you got an error message, you could try Instagram.com and go through the sign up process there if there's any issues on the phone here. So we are right now on a personal Instagram page, not a business one. They always start this way first. So to turn it into a business profile, Press your profile icon right here, just this one here, and then press the three lines on top, and then we need to go to settings over here. Under the settings, there is account, press account, and right on the bottom, you'll see an option that says switch to professional accounts. We need to press this, and we need to go through this process. Let me press continue here a couple of times. And then it's gonna ask you what type of category defines your type of professional service. So for example, in this case, let's go ahead and put digital creator, and you could display this on your profile if you wanted to. I'll display it just to show you what it looks like and press done. Then it takes you to this page and there's two different professional profiles. One is the creator profile, but in this case, we want a business profile. They basically give you some more tools with a business profile over a creator profile. So if you're a content creator, this may be okay, and I have accounts under this type of profile, but a business is what we're creating this video for, so let's go ahead and press next there. If you wanna add your contact info, like your business phone number and business email, and business address, you could add that here. I'm gonna press don't use contact here. And if you plan on cross posting to Facebook or using ads, Facebook ads, you do need to connect your Instagram business page to a Facebook business page. If you don't have a Facebook business page yet, I do have a separate video about that. This is definitely recommended if you plan on using this for promoting your business across Instagram and Facebook. In this case, I'm gonna skip. If you don't wanna do that, you could always skip that page. Now at this point, we can exit or we could go through these steps for completing our profile. I'll go ahead and press X because you could always on this page, go to settings and add things to your profile. And that digital creator tag I showed you that you could turn on and off, this is where it shows up. And your name shows here. This is the name you put in the very beginning. And your username, this is the one that has to be unique, shows up over here. Anytime, if you go ahead and edit this profile, you could press edit profile here. And what I recommend you do is, again, your name and username are here. You could add a website here. That's very important because then people could click on a website to go to your page. I'll add one right now. You could also add a business bio. So you go over here and type anything you want. So I'll type content creator. Then add a profile picture. A logo for your business here is always a good choice. And you could see some of the other options. I'm gonna press done to show you how the profile updates here. And you could see it's gonna say my bio. It's gonna put the website so people click there and go to your website. And as of right now, we don't have any posts yet. This is where all your posts are gonna appear. And to create posts, you press the plus sign and then you could create different types of posts. And anytime, if you press the three lines here and go to settings, you could see all kinds of different options as far as privacy and business tools. There's a ton of business tools available, all kinds of things that you could do with your business profile page.